Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show how to check the results. So, so in the visualization module, this is your original model. Let's click on this. Can get magnitude of the displacements. Well, in step in step module, you have already requested so many parameters in the request like uh, field output request. So, so these are the parameters you can see here. This is like plastic in terms J and relaxation force, shear force, moments, displacements, rotation. So I have selected the displacement here. Here, there, these are the magnitudes. Magnitude U, this is one X direction, U two means Y direction, and three X direction. So I have checked U one. So these are the all displacement values. The X direction. So in this tab, you can see that uh, this is the time frame. Uh, it is, you can already see this is the step that in which file load is activating. So you can change the time step. This is the step time 0 0.7589. Okay, you can change. Like that you can change. You change, so that's why the lateral load on file this stage finally comes. You can check in the step module. There are four steps, right? So, so as you, you can, as you change the visualization tab, as you change this time frame, automatically the step will also change. So like that, click on this lateral load file. So step time is increased. Again, you change, you change. So it will give four in one second. So each step already we have given time input as one second. So that is why once it will the value once reach one second, that means you are at the final stage of that particular step. So after one, if you click, it will not increase because the total time that is the total time interval that is given is one second. So here you can see that there's some displacement, small displacement is there on the pipe. Well, uh, so let's go to display rules. Okay, before going to the, I try to show how to show the animations. Just click on this. Okay, it is so just just keep it a bit slow so that you can see it properly. So just click on this. Let's see. Slowly, 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 slowly. Some some lateral displacement. You can also check the time step. This static step. Now file load intersection. This file is activating. Next lateral load, and so this value it is getting some displacement. Now turn off the animation. Also, you can see the half model. Click on here. Click on this. Let's see the half model. The displacements are also there. Check here. Let's see this. Some separation has been not that here. As we uh, in the interaction mode, as we selected, we checked the box of, like separation after the interaction that is based on separation of the day. You can 
click on this and just click on uncheck the query box then the whole model will automatically visible if we click if we click on the x plan then it will bisect the model as along the x plan similarly the end plan like that okay now how to plot the graphs okay so before that, you have to go to display groups. Where file, select the file, part instances, select the file. Yes. So there's file. On the soil. Yes. So there's soil. I can check the file or check the soil also. You can see here due to lateral load there is a displacement there is a deformation in the soil world also. You can see anyways. It's the whole world. I check the shear force, shear stress. So now this is the pipe. So if you want to get a load deformation curve, simply in the lateral load, you know how much load you have already have given as input. So with respect to that, you simply just go to part. Okay? Path, simply path. If then like automatic, I already have created some path that is why it is showing path eight. So just take it as path eight, okay? Path eight. Uh, continue. And uh, just click on the path. See okay? the nodes. Just select which nodes you want the displacement values. Okay. Don't need to press shift and all. Just simply click here. So you are creating the part of it. You don't need to click on all the nodes. You can also skip some nodes. Like that. Like that. Okay. So already you have created the path. It's done. So this is the path already you have created. Just, just remember path A. Okay. Now we have to plot. Okay. Get the plot. So go to X Y. Select the path. Continue. Then just select the path eight. Here you can see all the nodes that have been selected in the path eight. Go to field output. Space frame should be the last one. Field output should be our field output should be two special displacement at nodes. We need the E one. Okay, now you just click on the plot. Let's let's see this. You can see here that this is along the path, along the path, and this is the displacement value that, that you're getting. And this is so exact looking like. So you know, you're taking from the top one. So that means from zero to some length, some length, suppose I want to remember how much the tower length is, how much the upper portion of the pile. That means from the ground level to the tower top. So if you cut that length, after that, from suppose some 30, so from 30 to 70, that is the pile. So you can take the the exact node with respect to this value, with respect to the length. So you can get the maximum displacement of at the File head. So, so you can extract these values in the Excel also. I close this one. 
So if we go to this then become temporary. So you can take all these values. So please just select and simply copy. And simply copy. Not automatically will get the values. The Excel. Okay. So this is our uh, the this is the process to get the uh, lateral displacement value. Okay. Uh, any other things like uh, can I show you? You can also explore the all other parameters like uh, the different controls. Let's check all of this, what they are saying. Let's look check all of this. One. Check out which value you have to take. That you have to explore the result section. This is the basic method to plot any curve or get the results. This is the basic fundamental thing that you should know how to get the results, how to see the like results in different different steps using this these buttons. Also, how to create the path. Because in Abacus, you do not get directly the uh, the length versus displacement curve. Before that, you have to create that path. Otherwise, Abacus will directly uh, give you that displacement uh, curve with the time. Because it's here, it's here, all the things are based on time frame. I mean, time frame is given only one second. So now, uh, so, so to get the displacement so with the parameter values along the length, so for that you have to create a path. Okay. So let's see this, this is the basic fundamental thing that you should know uh, to get the results for a file soil interaction and file soil modeling. Such kind of things uh, um, for such kind of results you have to have this basic fundamental knowledge. So this is it from today's video. Uh, I'll give more, more insights in the upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much.